Hi and welcome to Little Bet's Honey Bee's YouTube channel. I'm the Skinny Bee Man. It's Thursday, August 30th. This is the Intermediate Series, Week 21. Got down in the low 60s last night. It's a little windy, cloudy. Uh, we're going to go through these splits today and see what we got. See if we got any queens back. I'm going to we'll start out with veil. Like I say, it's cool this morning. They may be a little on the irritative side. Don't really know. We'll see what we got here. This is the mother hive. On the deep frames, the original hive. We took a bunch of frames out of here two weeks ago. Looks like they're recovering well. We took them down to one frame, and whatever field force come back in, we split them pretty hard. Little, little cluster of brood, open honey. Looks like they've grabbed some of these new frames out. Getting that time of year, they're propolizing everything up. Here's our queen right here running around. They look pretty good. We're going to take this uh, starter strip, and we're going to put it right down in there between these. Let him get that drawled out. Looks like in about two weeks they're going to be romping again. Well, first hive wasn't too mean to be the conditions it is. We may not be doing this in any uh, particular order. This is just the way I'm walking through the yard. This up here is uh, the medium frame original hive. You remember we got in there and they was queenless. We took them down pretty hard too. Uh, so we'll see if we got a queen in there now. I put a cell in here when they found out they was queenless. Yeah, got a few bees. Act like they're going to be a little more riled. Maybe they won't be too bad. Don't want to give them a lot of smoke to make them mad. Main reason for going through these splits today, we just want to see what's queen right and what's not. They started that's full of nectar. We got something going on in my hives, and I don't know what it is. I've never seen it before. In the south, they got kudzu honey. That's blue. Let me see here. Get out of the way, girls. You see this blue nectar here? I was a little concerned the bees were getting into something, but I'm not seeing any dead bees in the front of the hives or anything, so we'll hope for the best, but I've never seen it before.
I live far enough north, there's no kudzu here that I know of. Well, we managed to get a queen back. She's in here lying. Back right here she is. We got so many to go through, I'm not going to go through all the frames. Like I say, the main reason we're doing today is we're just going through here to make sure we're clean right. These bees here are just a little bit on the touchy side. You see them flying up off the frames. Okay, that's the original uh, in the medium boxes. Now we come down here to our rows that's got tape. The blue tape is all the splits. Like this one here, you can see is A6. That means that come from the deep up there. Not a terrible lot of bees in there. Here's our queen, she's lying. Queen's right there. She's starting to lay. So, we're three for three. They get built up just a little bit, and I change them over to a nuke box. I'll give them each a frame of brood, and that'll really give them a jump start. This is that. This is that still out of a. Just got nectar. No hive beetles. Hmm, queen cell they missed. She's been in here, Lamb, but did they kill the other queen? Yeah, Looks like they killed my queen and put a virgin in there. She's back, laid, and they made a new one. I see the virgin running around. I'm not going to uh, uh, hold that out very long with a virgin in there. She come back, made it, and, and I missed a cell on the side, and the virgin hatched out, and they killed her. That happens sometimes. We we'll call that a success, I guess. I mean, she did come back, made it. Okay, I'm 
This 77, it's been a trouble guys. I don't know what we got going on in here. They get a queen and they lose a queen. I really don't even understand what's going on. It looks like I give them a sell. It appears to be hatched. I don't remember when I give them this sell. So maybe a virgin in here, may not, maybe laying, I really don't know. The way this high has been, there may not be nothing in here. A little bit of cat brew from previous queens. Not seeing any eggs. I've really not seen a virgin. I guess we'll have to leave that. This one is a question mark. I don't know. Okay, let's walk on down the road here. That's not. Here's another split we done. Let's see what we got in here. So we got one out of all of them we don't know about. I'm 
Okay, we got a queen in here lying. These young queens, I don't like getting moving around too much. They're off the fly off the frame. You've seen that before. Here's her queen. And she's lying. I'm sorry about this. I got to get my paperwork here because when I'm since I'm checking these, I need to write down what we're, what I'm doing so I know what each box needs. Land feeder leaks. You mean let me know I gotta fix a feeder. P fifty. Old age, if I don't write it down, I, I won't remember none of that. Appears to be a fair number of bees in this one, so I assume the queen's back mated and laying. She is, there are eggs in here. Bringing in pollen. It's real important when you get virgins in there that you don't get in them too early. Like I say, last week I didn't want to check in there because they have a tendency to get nervous and fly off the frame and you'll lose them. They may even be some today that's a little bit skittish yet not laying. Once they've laid a bunch, they won't fly off the frame. Oh, here she is, way up there. Nice big old queen. Well, that's another success. A lot better luck than we had the last time. Last time we had problems. For whatever reason, sometimes it does that. In the bees, you can have something work 20 times, and the next 20 times not work. I just, something about it. Stand that up. Mark, that's where that feeder's leaking. I think we ended up making 16 splits out of that the last time, so so far we're batting pretty good.
Well, this one next box here was one we made a split out of. It was a split out of the original, and we made a split out of it again. 41D here. Uh, they possibly could be need to be moved to a new box. I'm about, I'm about positive she's probably ready for a new box. But we'll get in here and see. They may be a little bit more cranky since they'll be a little tighter on space. Remember, we just slid the divider board down in here. We made a split on one side. Oh yeah, she's she's ready for a new box. It's a little cool out here today. It's only about right around 70 degrees. She got a whole frame of brood laid out. Put her in a nuke box this week and give her another uh, frame of brood. Really give them a jump start. Okay, this is the split we made off of it. We just put the divider board in there and made the split. Give them the cell. Of course, all of these was just given cells. Propolizing everything down. Actually, ain't even pulled a cell out of here. It's hatched. Let's see if we got a virgin or a land queen. See how much more bees retain when you do that, just that slide. I did not see any signs of the queen or a queen on that. There's the queen. She looks to be, she should be mated, but she's not laying yet. I don't want to keep her out there too long. Like I say, you seen queens fly off the frames on me. So we'll put that back together. We'll mark 42D down as just seeing the queen. Like I say, as long as she's been in there, she should be mated. Sometimes I have seen them take up to two weeks to start laying.
Well, there's a lot of bees in here, so I'm assuming that the queen come back and brought some bees back with her, <coughs> and she's laying. Honey frame. The queen's on that frame. I'm going to stick her back in the box. See if she's lying on this other frame. She may be out of room. She's over on that honey frame. Maybe she's looking for a place to lay. Oh, yeah. She's got this one. Got cat brood. All the holes are laid up. Got them a good supply of pollen coming in. And it's going to be interesting. I've never done these medium frames in these two frame deep boxes. We're going to see what they do. They should draw off the bottom of them. They get a little stronger. So that's another one back mated. Just honey. Not a whole lot on that frame. Some cat brood. They made a queen cell here. Cat. They may they may not have liked her queen. She's come back and laid and they made a queen cell. If our queen's in here, we'll get rid of that cell. Sometimes they don't like a queen. Let her come back, and you see she's laid in there, and they've made a queen cell. They didn't like her for some reason. That happens more often than what you think. Now, well, bummer. But it was still a success as far as the queen coming back and mating. Seven's laying. Forty-eight makes a. See what we got here. We got so many of them, that's why I'm not going into a great amount of detail on each one of them. We could spend two hours out here. What's 
the number here, 46 and 45. But our splits is it retained all the bees, so that's a good thing. Frame of honey still got a little cat brood on it from the original. She's laying. I see eggs. So she must be on the next frame. Here's a big old queen. The reason I'm not afraid to get her out of there, she's got a whole couple frames laid up. Another one of success. Now hopefully we can get these built up for winter and make it. They get built up into a strong, strong five frame nuke, they'll be fine. I've got about seven weeks here of growing yet on the bees. So they should be in good shape. That appears to be the queen come back on this one about just by the number of the bees in here. They're starting to draw some brace combs, so they're they're pretty content with what they've got going. That's basically just a honey frame enough bees in here and I don't see any hive beetles and I haven't seen any. The hive beetles ought to start to be backing off here in the next couple of weeks. She's laying, yeah. Success again. There she go, right here. Doing a lot better than we done the last splits. And typically you can't make one frame, one or two frame splits this time of year, but these two frame boxes with robin screens on it really has paid some big dividends for me this year. Down here to the last one in this row. Let's see what we got in here.
didn't see any signs of clean. They're up there fanning. I say they didn't. The queen didn't come back on this one. She did come back. Laid. Let me see it here. No. Yeah, I want to see the camera. See that? Made a queen cell. Two they wasn't happy with. Might not have been well mated or who knows. Bummer. SP forty three. Made a sale. This side here looks a little better. There's just a frame of honey. Queen's land. There she is. She's hiding from me. Right there. She's back laying. So that's good. I'll be smoking it out since I ain't been using it. A lot of bees, so I assume that this one's successful too. Unless she come back laying and they made a queen cell, didn't like her. It's always a possibility. 
lot of bees. This lighting today is kind of hard to see eggs. No sun. There's our queen. She's a little jitters, but she's lying. We put her back in there. We ain't gonna go no further. We want to take a chance on her flying off. She's lying. Queen was on top of the frame, but I seen her run down in there. Capped honey, open honey. Same thing on that side. Bringing in pollen, so I'm pretty sure she's laying. Now she's laying. There she is. Right there, she's lying. Well, both of these were successful. I don't like to wear a veil much. It's hard to see eggs. And this lighting, it's hard. It makes it tough, too. But sometimes... I don't like it stung in the face either. The conditions we are today, they've been real good. 38 and 37, both lambs. Uh, this is the original hive right here, the medium box of the time. We'll open it up and look at it. It shouldn't be any reason to even be in that box, but we'll look at it. Plenty of activity in the entrance. Better get the smoker here. This is a pretty strong hide, and all them field force come back to this. They, they may be a little bit irritated. Maybe we'll be fortunate and there'll be a frame up here she's laid in. We won't go any further. Just to make sure. Sometimes you stress them on a split and they'll supersede the queen sometimes. The old queen, even though she's done nothing wrong. And there's nothing wrong with her. They just get 
stress sometimes and do weird things. Hopefully this next frame's got some eggs in it. It does. We don't have to go no further. Full frame a cat brood with some eggs in it that she's been up there laying. She's good. The whole box is full. They're going to be ready for another box pretty quick. In fact, I'm going to check her board this in where she'll get out there and lay in the middle. We didn't slow them down much. I'm standing right in the door. I'm making everybody happy. Well, let's go down here to the next two boxes. In fact, these are the last. No, we got. Uh, 14's a, a split. We got another one to go. Five boxes there. See where we're at. Pollen, a lot of it, so that's a good sign that there's a queen in there laying. Not a hundred percent, but it's a good sign. Oh, yeah, she's laying. It's all open brood there. Here's my here's her queen. Eh, she's a little jumpy. I'm gonna leave her on the frame. Okay, so that's good. You get one that's kind of running around on the frame a little bit, she's able to fly off. This late in the year, I don't want to be losing any. Like we have in the past. Here's one I forgot to check and see if it even sell hatched or not. Not many bees, it ain't a really a good sign. Cell hatched. A full frame of honey that was on the original split. Her queen, she appears to be a virgin. So, we now the woods on this one got a virgin. So, let's. 39. 40 lane. 39 
Well, that makes us about uh, two that's got virgin that's not laying yet. Don't mean they're not mated. And we got two that come back with queen cells. So out of 16, we're still doing pretty good. Don't look the greatest in the world. It looks like she might have not flew out and not come back. This might be the first bust, bust we've got. This one, this one don't look good. Virgin's in there. She just ain't flew out yet. Okay, she got a chance to fill that box up when she flies out and gets mated. Make sure her wings is all right. Yeah, her wings appear to be all right. She just not flew out yet. They'll bring some bees back and load that box up, so we're still got a good chance on that one. P42, so we're good. This one's loaded with bees, so I'm assuming that we got a laying queen in here. Yeah, we do. She's a little bit runny fight. She's lying. Get her back in the box before she wants to fly out of there. And this is our last split. I think this has got a laying queen in it. I think I seen the mating swarm come back here last week and go in there. Yeah, be good. If I remember right, we was thinking, I was getting tired of making splits, we made this one a little bit stronger than the rest. And it's showing it. They've got almost four frames of bees to cover them.
this a pollen frame. We got a lot of pollen in there. That's good. She's definitely lying in there. Fresh eggs. No, oh, this is the original. Had two here with originals. Yeah, that's that's fine. This is another one we pulling splits out of. That's why it's so strong. She's in there lying. There ain't no use going any further. They need another box. Next week I'll give them another box. It'll be packed house. Well, so out of 16, we got 12 laying. Two made queen cells and two that's got virgins in it. So that, that's that's pretty good odds. Anytime you can get 75% of your splits back, you're, you're doing real good and looks like we got a chance to get them all back that's unheard of yeah, but if you like the videos hit the subscribe button the bell next to it and uh, you get notified when I make new videos I appreciate all you guys watching pass these videos around get some people interested in the bees and uh, make the world better we'll catch you next week